They're here? Morning, Senator. Leon? Did somebody tell you that the Senate was a five-day-a-week job? And your point is? It's game time now. We're in campaign mode. We? have a year left on your term. I have two years, so you talk to me in a year. Today, I'm just going to curl up with a good book, like uh, this CBO analysis of offshore tax shelters. In a, in a year, it's going to be too late. Uh, why? Money. No, nobody can raise that kind of money, not in two years, Mr. Leader. We're going to have to put a billionaire on the ballot. You know the Republicans are going to find money. Anthony Marino raised big money for his father, didn't he? Oh, yeah, right. For an incumbent governor without any federal limits, he had four years to do it. I could do that in my sleep. Where is La Cienega? Arthur. Uh, Arthur, you're breaking up on me. But don't get me wrong. I like Anthony Marino. He's smart and he's tough, but it's not enough. This race is about money. Anthony Marino is not our guy. So they've completely eliminated soft money in Senate campaigns. And what are the limits on hard money? Uh, 2,000 per person per election. 2,000? That's right, Governor. But they count the primary and the general as separate elections, so it's really 4,000 per person per campaign. Four grand is the biggest check someone can write? Yep. And tax? 5,000 per election, so 10,000 for the campaign. How are you supposed to pay for a campaign that way? That's what I've been trying to tell you, Dad. We don't know how. We're used to no limits in your governor's races. You know how much these guys are paying to go nine holes with you this morning? Better be more than 4000 50000 each. You're going to pick up $200,000 before breakfast on a Sunday. And tonight at the Black Tie thing at the Ritz, three and a half million. In a Senate race, I can't do that. Anthony, I don't want to hear what you can't do. I want to hear what you can do because you are running. You made me put Sterling in the Senate. Now you're going to take him out. Forget about golf with us. You go find the best federal money raiser in the country. Right now. Well, that's Arthur Payton of the Democratic Senate Campaign Committee. Already grabbed him. You know that. He hasn't heard our offer. What's our offer? Whatever it takes. Okay, guys. How much are we betting on the first hole? <laughs> 50 million. 60 million is probably more like it. And you have less than two years to raise it. It's 22 months. Right, right. So let me see. That, that's how many weeks? That's... Uh... 95 weeks. Yeah, yeah. So at 60 million, we need to raise at least 631,578 a week. Is that one of your magic tricks or is that just math? A little of both. So how much a day? 90,225 a day. Are you figuring a 5-day week? 7. Okay, so um, so it's uh, ten thirty-five. How much have you raised today? You know, the minority leader actually has a little better view than the majority leader. Of course, I am still itching to swap offices with that son of a bitch when the election's over. What about Schwarzenegger? Team player. He won't run if you run. Be clear sailing to the Republican nomination. Sixty million. Oh, maybe seventy, eighty tops. That gonna be a problem? Ah, Lord, Sarah, this is such a a unique opportunity for us. Three-way race in California, that's a Republican dream. And the Democrat, probably Anthony Marino, who will not be able to raise enough money, is gonna split the vote with Sterling, Mr. Independent, who won't be able to come close to raising enough money. And all you gotta do is show up. And put 80 million into TV ads. 
90 times. Now look, Sarah, I know this is going to seem a little bit like a used car salesman, but I am going to need an answer pretty soon. And I know you're going to want to go home, talk this over with your husband, so I'm going to give you my cell phone number I'm in. so that... Can I hug you? Sign here and here. <laughs> the Sterling for Senate committee? Yeah, we need to file this first thing Monday morning with the FEC. No. We need to, so we can start raising... You know what? I'm not ready to sign that. Look, this is an eat your spinach thing. We really have to do this now. Uh, excuse me, Senator. Tommy would like a minute. Yeah, sure. Uh, Senator, this is your briefing book on the farm workers yes. bill. Why don't you just tell me how to vote and quit burying me in these briefing books? Hey, I'm all for that, but you don't get a vote on this one. The California legislature passed it last week. Okay, who cares what I think about state laws? The press. Uh, Derek, how long is the call list? We've got all the big guns from L.A., San Francisco, and San Diego calling. We've got every local paper, radio, and TV station in the Central Valley looking for a statement. Uh, Governor Marino hasn't decided whether he's going to sign it yet. It's a binding arbitration bill for the farm workers. The growers are opposed, saying they can't afford increased labor costs. The UFW, I'm sorry, the United Farm Workers. United Farm Workers, yeah, I know all about them. My father had his run-ins with Cesar Chavez. I thought he supported Chavez. Publicly, but you should have heard him on the phone. Anyway, the AFL-CIO wants us to put out some sort of statement because the UFW is marching from Modesto to Sacramento this weekend to demand the governor's signature. So I think we should just do something non-committal, something along the lines of just no, a... let's go. Where? Modesto. Uh, California? That's where Modesto is. Uh, oh, there are so many reasons why we can't do this. Okay, give me the first one. Um, Senate is in session tomorrow. No problem. Catch what? One o'clock, two o'clock flight to San Francisco. We're on the ground by four. We rent a car. Well, we don't have to rent a car. We have an office in San Francisco. Our I staff... Have an office in San Francisco? Yes, in L.A. and San Diego and Fresno. Cool. All right, so we'll ride out to the march. We'll stretch our legs for a couple of miles. We'll get back to the airport in time for the red eye, and we're all at our desk at 9 a.m. Um, you don't need me for this, do you, Senator? I got your briefing book, Tommy. I'll be an expert on this thing by the time I get there. Go we'll back to the hotel, Jack. You pick me up in a half an hour. Did I mention that senators don't do marches? Apparently this one does. You can do better than senators don't do marches, can yeah, you? Yeah, but I'd have to think about it for a second. It's like explaining to a four-year-old why the sky is blue. Okay, you're here. Right. 3B. Where are you? Oh, we got a senator's only upgrade. I'm in the first row of coach. So near, and yet so far. Well, you want to switch? Desperately, but I would never do that with a senator. Can I hang your jacket for you, Senator Sterling? Um, no, thank you. I'm, I don't know, just aware. Would you like water, juice, or champagne before takeoff? Um, you know what? I'll, I'll be right back. Hey. Hi, hey, you. Hi. How old are you? How old is he? Seven months. Hey. I'd like to take my seat up there. Just more comfortable for you. It's bigger, more space. Yeah? Okay. You want me to hold him while you get your stuff? Sure. Okay. Hey, come over here. Come over here. Come on. Okay. Hey, look. Oh, yeah, right here. That's right here. Whoa. There you go. Whoa. Um, if you want something to drink, she can get you something. We're, we're going to switch things. Bye. Bye. campaign mode now. What? You figure half of this plane are California voters. Okay. So a hundred California voters just fell in love with you. And each one of them is going to tell 20 people about this. And each one of them is going to tell 20 people about this. And each one of them and each one of them. Come on. You're the math whiz. How many votes did you just pick up? Well, I didn't get any applause from first class. Oh, forget about them. They're going to vote Republican no matter what you do. <laughs> Next. Uh, yeah, I could have a grande non-fat latte. Uh, no. What? We don't have any grandes. This is America. We have small, medium, and large. I think you mean a medium. 
Yes, yes, me, me, medium would be just great. Uh, and could I have an extra shot in there, too, please? Yeah, medium non-fat latte, extra shot. Medium non-fat latte, extra shot. Uh, that is three even extra shots on the house for first-timers. Oh, good, thank you. Um, I'm, I'm supposed to meet Mr. Clooney here in about five minutes. That's me. Are you Arthur Payton? Yeah. Uh, cashier called in sick. Make yourself comfortable. Should slow down pretty soon. Hey, Arthur, I, I want to apologize about the Grande thing. They drive me crazy with the Grandes and the Ventis and the... I'm, I'm sorry. No, no, please. Um, the medium is great. Uh, my English is better than my Italian anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Next. I'm just saying the governor has a point. It's a bad time to add inflationary pressure to the California economy. How much is a hetero, man? A dollar? You're not an iceberg girl, are you? I don't have time to cook, so I'm not up on the price so of So how are you going to know if it goes up two cents? Well, it could go up more than that, and the people who do know the price of lettuce will notice. And there are millions of them in California. Romaine is $1.79 at the co-op in Santa Monica. Georgetown's probably going to be a little more. Deadly. Lots of speeches, no music, but plenty of food. Leon, this is Sunday. So? So, you were supposed to cook tonight. That was Kevin's turn. It was, but I switched with you so I could go to the fundraiser. Oh, I had to work today, I forgot. Yeah, well, now I'm gonna go study for my con law exam. I have tomorrow night and get ready for a budget committee markup tomorrow morning. All on a belly full of mac and cheese. Technology stocks extended their. She loves mac and cheese. Hi, for Leon, press one. For Tracy, press two. For Laura, press three. For Kevin, press four. Hi, Kevin, it's Holly. Are you going to call me? Hey, Holly. What's up? See? That's why I didn't want someone that young in the house. What did I miss here? No sense of responsibility. You can't count on a... For what? No, I'm standing here eating like a 10-year-old because of him. Well, he switched with you. You were supposed to cook. Well, he shouldn't have switched with me. Should have lived up to his obligations. Look, I work in the Senate. He works in the House. And how dare a House staffer switch cooking nights with a Senate staffer? Laura, let me finish. I am Director of Data Management Leon, for... Leon, come on. You invented that title. No one else in the Senate has that title. That's right. I, I invented that title, but they let me have the title because I do a lot more than just run the Senator's mailroom. Right? Kevin is what, a receptionist for a congressman no one's ever heard of. I work for a new senator, brand new, first week, very hectic situation. Reporters attacking him right off the bat. I did not attack him. I just asked Look, him... Look, we're not to... talking about that. All right, we're, we're talking about food, we're talking about Kevin, we're talking about why I didn't want to let him share this house and why I was right and you were wrong. All right, Kevin should not have switched with me at a time like this. So, all day Sunday at the office? You guys in campaign mode or what? <laughs> Look, Laura, you, you want to make your bones as a reporter on my boss? Fine, I can't stop you, but I can stop talking to you. What is this, junior high? You're not going to talk to me? About my job. Leon, you brought it up. I wasn't even I saying... I did not bring up my job. Did. Didn't. Okay. Here's a new rule. I am never going to talk to you about my job again. Do you do anything else we can talk about? being a senator in airports these days? And then there's precedent. Yeah. The state can't stick its nose into any other private sector labor negotiations. So why should they be able to do that only with the farm workers' contracts? It's a unique situation, seasonal labor. Yeah, okay, what about ski instructors? Why aren't they in the bill? The growers drag out the negotiations until the crop is harvested, and then they just stop talking to the union. The UFW has been trying to get some of the growers to sign for 25 years. What are you going to say to the family farmers? This is about factory farms, not family farms. These companies are huge agribusiness conglomerates, which, by the way, have contributed millions to the governor's... You didn't know any of this before you read Tommy's briefing book on the plane. So? So why are we here? Look, if you're just going to ask yourself, what would my father do, and then do the exact opposite, you're going to make my job really easy, because I won't have to advise you on anything. That's not what I'm doing. Your father was a great politician. Look, 
I know you've heard that a million times, and I know you've got problems with your father. But do you want to help these farm workers? Do you? You know the best way to start? Be a great politician. catch up with them that's impossible but there's an awful lot of money to be made in second place in this business what you're, you're number two nationwide number two in california number three in the u.s and canada mm. 987 shops but this one is special this was my first thanks Thank you. you see that that was my big idea the drive-through window yeah and it really wasn't my idea I took this over from a burger joint. The window was already there. I wasn't going to use it. First day, a guy drives up, tries to order, and I figure I might as well serve him, and the rest, you know, is dumb luck. Kids? A daughter, sophomore at Stanford. Nothing more important than your kids. Do you have kids? Mm. I hope you do someday. Nothing like it. So, um, you think this is something you might want to do? Well, I think I've gone about as far as I can go in this business, huh? Press three. Hey, Laura, Bert Gamel here. You still on the Sterling beat? I got some. Mr. Leader, hi. This is Laura. Uh-huh. Um. Oh. Great. Uh-huh. Um. Okay. How do you how do you spell her last name? Uh-huh. Well, thank you. I, I really appreciate it. Uh-huh. Okay. See you tomorrow. I can't believe you did that. That was the most unprofessional. I would never get out of my room and don't ever see you tomorrow. The, the, the minority leader of the United States Senate, see you tomorrow? I see him every day. He does a press conference every day. Okay, I'm, I'm having a little trouble just getting over the fact that you even know the minority leader. Yeah, the majority leader, too. Yeah, never mind that he has your home phone number. I'm gonna work. I could kill you in your sleep, you know? And that he is calling you to try to plant some dirt on my boss. He is not trying. Okay, new rule? We never, ever talk about my job. Never. That's it? That's the march? UFW is not as fashionable a cause as it used to be. Is any press? <laughs> what do you care? You're campaigning? <sighs> Thanks. Okay, we gotta find Gloria first. So the march for the signature is really a march for the conscience of one man. Thanks, Gloria. That was perfect. Sure. Excuse me. Gloria. Oh, not Jackie. Hi, how are you? Senator Sterling? Hi, I'm Bill Sterling. I know who you are, Senator. So, do you mind if I march with you for a while? I thought senators don't march. No, I haven't read the rule book yet. Oh, yeah. Senator Sterling, do you agree with the union that this is a march for the conscience of one man? Well, I, I don't want to tell Governor Marino how to do his job, but I, I would sign this bill if I was governor because I really do think that the uh, farm workers are a special case. I mean, this is really just an updated version of the Farm Labor Act of 1975 that Cesar Chavez said was the most important state legislation that the farm workers ever were associated with. I worked with your father when he was governor, you know. That must have been fun. <laughs> well, I tried to work with him. Yeah, he can be pretty tough to deal with sometimes. Yeah. Uh, you're nothing like him. No, no, no. We really have to get to the airport. Okay. Gloria, thank you so much for letting me join in. Anytime, Senator. Anytime. Thanks, Gloria. You bet, Jackie. Well, Senator Sterling, yeah. the senator can't leave without giving a speech. Oh, no, no, no. This senator can. I didn't come here to give a speech. I know. That's why I want you to do it. Please. Okay. Senator 
Hunter, Bill Sterling Jr. Viva Sterling! Viva Sterling! Viva, Sterling! Uh, viva Gloria! Viva, viva, viva Cesar Chavez! Viva Cesar Chavez! Um, look, when I, when I uh, decided to come out here today, I thought that I was going to a protest march, but that is not what I've seen here today. What I've seen is a celebration of the people's rights to petition the government. What is really a march for the American dream, a better life for you and your children. And you're not asking for a government handout. You're only asking for fundamental fairness. You're only asking for fair pay for a hard day's work. I wish that I could continue marching with you because I know you're going to get there. I know you can do it. Yes, you can. Si se puede. Si se puede. Job, but I would sign this bill if I was governor because I really do think Turn it off. workers are a special case. Okay, that clip one more time. It's just local Sacramento TV. Stick your head out the window and yell, more people will hear you, they don't see that clip. He has no idea how to do his job, but he can tell me how to do mine. Look, our problem is the papers. Times in the Chronicle ran the AP version. Page? One. Both of them? Mm hmm. Sterling in the headline? No. Farm workers march for governor's signature. You know they're going to do editorials tomorrow. Well, he just raised you $10 million from the growers. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. Right. Oh, Leon, you didn't have to do that. I thought you were gonna send one of your interns out. Oh, no, I did. Oh. What's up? I know who leaked the Burwell story to uh, Roll Call. Yeah, minority leader. How'd you know? Because his name doesn't appear in the article. So? So reporters always protect their sources, but usually just enough so that you can figure out who they are. Oh, jeez. Hey. What happened to at our desks at 9 a.m.? <clears throat> I was at my desk at 9 a.m. <laughs> For what? A minute? Yeah, give me a break. I didn't sleep at all on the plane. Gotta learn to sleep on the red eye. It's part of the job. Okay, you got about 10 minutes for lunch, and then you've got the meeting on appropriations for Homeland Security. Chairman, by the way, is not going to be there. He had a little heart trouble last night, so he's back in the hospital. Uh, I need to get him flowers, or what? No, you completely ignore it, and you never mention it to him. That's the way he likes it. He spends a night in the hospital a couple times a year. I think it's just a tune-up or something. So he's okay? Yeah, unless Crandall slips something into his food. And Crandall is? Dave Crandall, Delaware. Next in line for chairman. He's been waiting for Morris to die for years. This is a nice business you're in. Eat. What am I having? You're having what I'm having. Tuna on whole wheat. If you'd been awake, I would have let you order. Thank you. So, since I bought you lunch, how about signing these FEC papers for me? Very funny. Okay. All right, let's take baby steps here. Even though you haven't decided to run, you still need to open a campaign account now. Because if you don't have a fundraiser scheduled by the end of this week, everyone's gonna think that you're a dead duck. I mean, a lame duck? No, way beyond lame. Look, last week the Marinos leaked that Anthony's gonna run for your seat. This week the Republicans leaked that Sarah Burwell's gonna run for your seat, okay? That's two tough candidates already, and you don't lift a finger? That means that either you're not gonna run or you're gonna be a pushover if you do. Senators aren't gonna do business with someone who's only gonna be here for two years. I'm going to appropriation. Come on, look, do you wanna be an effective senator? Sign here. No, don't, don't worry about Sarah Burwell. Clooney can outspend her by a mile. Last year, he gave over $300 million to the rainforest. Is Clooney ready for prime time? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's smart and he's charming. He's just not ready to sign on the dotted line yet. I worked on him all day yesterday. I'm on my way over to Oh, no. No, no, no. no, no. You're a hard man to find. 
<laughs> and people say the Marinos are heavy-handed. Where does that come from? Latte or cap? Non-fat? Give me the latte. It's a beautiful day, huh? What's in Washington? 90 below? I'm listening. Move out here. Work on my campaign. Anthony, I was hoping your father wouldn't talk you into running. I told you, you guys cannot raise that kind of money. Well, I believe you. But you can. No. No, I can't. No one can. Not in two years. Name your price. Look, Anthony, I like you. You're a pro. Obviously, we cover all your expenses. Moving, car, phone, all your meals, whatever. Yeah, listen, it's not about... What's the DSCC paying you? A couple hundred? How's half a million? <laughs> well, that's very tempting, but I... a million. Okay, final offer. A million a year, two million for the campaign. Anthony, you're gonna lose. I'm in this thing, Arthur, and I'm in it to win. You get a billionaire in this race, I'm gonna destroy him. Billionaire's got a right to know that, don't you think? By the way, very nice touch. Trampling on the rights of farm workers. What, you're just giving up on Hollywood fundraising, right? Hey, Bill, how you doing? Hey, Bert. <laughs> so, uh, Sarah Burwell, huh? Oh, geez, I hope we can do better than that. What's wrong with her? She's got all the money in the world, doesn't yeah, she? Don't let anybody tell you that's all it takes, Bill. No, no. Yeah, she's in the cosmetics business where she knows about politics. Probably more than I do. <laughs> Come on now. Well, you jam the Marinos. Brilliant. What? I read the AP story. Out doing a little marching this weekend, were you? And? Are you playing dumb and you think I'm dumb? No, I, what, what about the march? Running against Anthony Marino is going to be like running against a barrage. There's nothing there. No record, no policies, no way you can hurt him. So you don't run against him, you run against his father. You hold him accountable for everything the governor does or doesn't do. Now, am I right or am I right? I couldn't have figured that out if you gave me all day, Bert. All the better. That just means you're a natural at this. You think Babe Ruth spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to hit home runs? Now, you reckon he just went out there and hit him? <laughs> Born to this bill, you know it. Gotta keep his spirits up. If he doesn't run, we don't have a chance, California. Senator Sterling, hi. Um, did you attend the UFW march this weekend in the hope of getting Labor's endorsement of your campaign? Do you really think there's a chance Labor will endorse you instead of a Democrat? How are you going to compete with Sarah Burwell financially? My sources indicate she's prepared to spend at least 70 million. How much do you expect to be able to raise for your campaign? Uh, how many fundraisers do you have scheduled? Do you have any fundraisers scheduled? You are going to run, aren't you, Senator? Sorry, I didn't... No, no, no. It's okay, Leon. Come on in. Come on in. I was just reading some letters, and I didn't turn the light on when it got dark. <laughs> oh, you know, I do that sometimes, too. <laughs> no, you don't. No, I don't. I just didn't want you to How feel... How many it. letters are here, Leon? What is it? Hundreds? Thousands? Everybody wants an answer. Now. Right now. And I'm not sure if I have the answers. You know? I'm not sure if I have any answers. You will. Man, I'd, I'd like to believe that. You know, I just had no idea how big his job was going to be before I got here. I had no idea. Are you scared? I'm going to read some more letters. Hey, Leon? Yes, sir. Don't tell anyone? No, sir. 
That's right, Chris. I'm in. I'm in all the way. Money doesn't scare this Marine. Okay, there you have it. It's official. California Congressman Bob the Bomber Brennan announcing right here on Hardball that he will run for the Senate seat now occupied by New... Get that nut in here right now. Mr. Leader, Sarah Burwell on line three. All right, um, tell her I'm on the Senate floor and tell her, well, you know what, tell her, go on. So it looks like there will be a Republican primary for Senate in California with Bob Brennan. You know, you know what this nut is going to do to the rainforest? Tear it down and drill for oil. There is no way that you could let someone like that be your senator. What about Anthony Marino? Oh, well, um, the, the Marinos can never raise that kind of money, especially with the father running for re-election at the same time. I've already told them that. And? And they'll make some noises about running, and there'll be some leaks about running, but, well, he'll have to fold before he actually announces. When would you want me to announce? Well, as soon as possible. To scare off any other Democrats who are thinking about it. I've got to talk to my daughter about it. Oh, yeah, of course, sure. Uh, what's her number? We can call her now. No, I was, I was, I was, I was just kidding. <laughs> and if she's okay with it, I'll do it. Great. That's just great, GM. First thing we have to do, though, is get you a first name. I mean, the initials thing just doesn't work in politics. And your accountants are going to have to be prepared to release all your financial stuff, tax returns, net worth. Now, the press is going to try to get their hands on your divorce agreement. There's always embarrassing expense details there. So you're going to want to make sure that your lawyers have those records sealed. We don't have a divorce agreement. Nothing in writing, anyway. Why not? Didn't use lawyers. I hate lawyers. Well, so, uh, how did you do it? <laughs> I asked her what she wanted. She told me. I gave her that and a little bit more. How would you do it? Well, and, and about how much? Uh, what, what was this? Half of what I had at the time, a hundred million. But I've given her a lot more since then. She's the mother of my child, Arthur, and my best friend. Can I be your new best friend? I don't know about this fundraiser tonight in Stockton. Yeah, what don't you know? I don't know if you can veto the farm workers' bill, then go to a fundraiser with the Growers Association. So I'll veto it tomorrow. Oh, that's a lot better. Doing what they want after you get the money instead of before. It's a big difference. Why didn't I think of that? Anthony, calm down. I'm going to say this one more time. We don't need Arthur Payton. We will raise the money. We will. And anyone else steps into this race, we're going to make it the biggest regret of their lives. Dad, I think we have to cancel the fundraiser. I'm not canceling anything. You're letting him get to you, aren't you? Who? Sterling. You got to play the game you came to play. You can't let him force you to play his game. And if he wants to kill himself with the growers, hey, that's fine by us. Well, what about the voters? I'm going to have to win a Democratic primary to get this nomination. Oh, you don't know that. Arthur's got someone already. He must. That's why he turned us down. And I'm going to get killed in a Democratic primary if we're the enemy of the farm workers. We're going to get editorials tomorrow. They can be about a governor stepping over farm workers to reach for the grower's cash, or about the governor who signed the most important advance in farm workers' rights in a generation. And we're dead with the growers. Yeah, but at least Sterling is too. Did you get lost again? Yeah, I'm not sure. You know, all the hallways in this building look the same. I think I might have done an extra lap or two. Okay. Time to talk about the Sterling agenda. You need schedule? Uh, no. Um, what do you want to do now that you're a senator? You know, like, how do you want to make the world a better place? I'm not Miss America. I'm just a senator. Well, what kind of senator would you like to be? Let's see, so far you like being a senator in airports and protest marches, so... Pick a car. Oh. Go ahead, any car. I, I, I've seen this. It, this is good. No, it's a, it's a different trick. I, I got this one from Penn & Teller. Go ahead, pick a car. You know those guys? No, it's in their show sometimes they show you how to do their tricks. Okay, look at your card. Okay, no, don't show the card to Jackie. Put the card back in the deck, wherever you want. Okay, quick shuffle. Jackie, let me see your hand. Okay. Tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay. Okay, Jackie, turn over the top card. Tommy, is that your card? No. 
What? No. Oh, come on. I know how to do this trick. This is Senator. I do. Senator. I do. No, no. Okay, let's just, let's try it again. Look, Senator, 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 we really don't have time for this. Okay, come on. Look, I don't have time, okay? I don't have any time. I just got here, and I have to decide if I'm going to run what something that I have never wanted to do. Run for office? You know, you give me no time to think about it. Have to decide right now before I decide what kind of senator I want to be. What am I, some kind of decision machine, answer machine? Decide this, answer this. I mean, a reporter chases me down the hall asking me about a campaign I'm not even in. You guys, you push me here, you pull me there. Well, I don't know what kind of senator I want to be. Is there, is there some great role model here I should follow? Because I haven't seen one. How am I supposed to find the time around here to figure out what kind of senator I should be? You know, you, you don't know what it's like to take that oath, take that responsibility. Maybe we better talk about this another time. We take the same oath of office you do, Senator. How was I supposed to know you were backing Sarah Burwell? Because I gave the story to Roll Call. I read that story. I didn't see your name in it. Look, I promised her clear sailing to the nomination. You can't run. I have to run. Because? Because I just announced it on TV. Oh, like that's the first stupid thing you said on TV you'd have to take back. And because my district is changing. Hispanic registration's gone up 18%. Oh, I see. So because you can't win your district now, you want to run statewide. Man, you're even crazier than I thought you were. If you say so. <sighs> There's no way you can win statewide. Right. That's why you dragged me in here. You don't think... I know the conservative always wins in a Republican primary. Good luck trying to make Sarah Burwell more conservative than me. Look, Bob... Is she pro-life? Did you even ask her? Or did you just get blinded by that pot of gold? Okay, Bob, what can I do for you? You just tell me what it is that I have to do to get you to drop out of this race. Hey... I know I'd lose one-on-one -on -one with a Democrat in California, but that's the old formula. I get in a three-way with Sterling, I get a little lucky here and there, and boom. Senator Brennan. I don't know what made you think I was going to veto this thing. You and I go way back, don't we, Gloria? I march with Caesar. That's before you got into politics, Carl. All I'm saying is, I'm gonna sign it, I was always gonna sign it, and there never was a problem. Well, we appreciate that, Governor. But when I sign it, we're gonna have a problem, a big problem. The Groves are gonna try and kill me next year, and Anthony. We're both running, we're both gonna be in tough campaigns. We're gonna need all the help we can get. And of course... Thank you. Gloria gets the first pen. This way, please, Ms. Lopez. Thank you, Governor. Can we get a two shot, please? Uh, Ms. Lopez, please. please. Up Marino. One more, please. You sleeping here tonight? No. I just, uh. Gloria Lopez is on line one. The governor just signed the bill. She's calling to thank you. Gloria. <laughs> No, no, you did it. Si se puede. Uh huh. No, I understand. Mm hmm. No te preocupes. Okay. So, how does it feel? What? You got that done. It's the biggest thing on the farm workers' agenda since your father was governor. <laughs> How does it feel? That's good. Oh, really good. But... No, oh, she, she had to make a deal with the Marinos. Endorsing Anthony? Damn it. Oh, you can't blame the union. Y yes, I can. No, well, what were they supposed to do? And tell the workers, we're sorry we didn't get you a raise because some senator marched with us and we decided to be loyal to him instead you, of you. You want to be rational about it, that's fine. I want to be angry about it and I want to do something about it. Like? I don't know.
don't know. I wish I could find a candidate to run against Anthony Marino. Come on, let's get out of here. Listen, uh, Jackie, I I'm... I'm sorry about before. You sorry about what? Oh, I, I, you know, I shouldn't have. You know, I don't usually. I'm not a yeller. <laughs> You're not? What was that you were doing in there the other day with your father? No, it's different. It's family. You know, he gets to me and I dig in and then. Yeah. <laughs> Family's different. Yeah. Did you apologize to him? Yeah. He apologized to you? My father apologized. Are you kidding? Why don't we just do it that way? You know, fight, argue, yell, whatever. As long as we're doing our job, we can just let's just skip the apologizing. We don't really have time anyway. So you want to fight family style? It's the one thing I don't have to teach you. Hey, oh, where, where's that thing you wanted me to sign? That thing's on my desk. There. Huh? FEC Form 2? That's it. You got a pen? I'll try right in front of you. Oh. This doesn't mean that I'm running. Just keeping your options open. I'm trying to be effective. That the kind of senator you want to be? Effective? Yeah. You might be able to pull that off. You think so? Yeah. So what do we have tomorrow? In today's modern warfare, there are moments that we see. These are the moments we don't. Yeah, yeah. We're pressed. Two American journalists. You're wearing an American watch. In the middle of the war on terror. Entertainment Weekly gives it an A. Jeff Goldblum in an epic movie event. War Stories. NBC Wednesday at 8, 7 central.